Hello everyone, this is Yalin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can make authentication in Laravel. Authentication means login and registration system in Laravel using a Laravel package called Please. And I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So right now, first of all, we are going to create a Laravel project. So for it, let's just go back to the folder where we want to create our project. Let's say we'll create a project over here. So for it, we need to open a command prompt over here. We need to show over here CMD, then press enter. And let me just zoom in. So here, in order to create a Laravel project, we need to run this command, composer create project Laravel slash Laravel. And after it, we need to give our project name. And in this project name will be Laravel underscore project. You can give it any name, but this part will be always same. Okay, so right now we'll press enter and it will start creating our Laravel project. So installing Laravel project may take some time. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. And here you can see our Laravel project creation is complete. So right now we can just close this. And here you can see Laravel underscore project that we just created. So right now in order to run our project, we just need to go inside and we'll just show our here. At the top, we'll show our here CMD. Then press enter and there you can see it open a common prompt in the project location here you can see laravel underscore project so right now we're doing server here php artisan serve and press enter and there you can see so right now we just need to copy this and let's go back to our browser let's paste it in the browser press enter and there you can see this is our freshly created Laravel project. So right now we are going to make authentication system or login or registration system in this project. So for it we are going to use Breeze and in order to use the package Breeze we need to write a few commands. We have total five commands. Uh, this is the project creation command, Laravel project creation and from here the Breeze installation started and in dev. And we also need to make some changes in the code as well. So right now here you can see the command is composer require laravel slash breeze minus minus dev so right now we're going to copy this command and then we'll go back to the project directory so here you can see this is our project laravel underscore project so we'll go inside and we'll open another command prompt over here then press enter and right now we'll just press the command composer require laravel slash brisk minus minus dev and then press enter so it will start installing required brisk packages and there you can see it is done after it we need to run this command is version brisk install so let me just copy this paste it over here paste version brisk global install then press enter and then it will ask you a few questions which brisk track would you like to install i will go with Blade, then press enter. I will show over here no. Let's say one, and then it will start installing and building dependencies. So right now again, I'll just fast forward the video, and there you can see our base version base install command is also done. So after it, we need to run this command npm install. So let's say over here npm install, then press enter. Then after npm install, we have npm run build. So we are going to show over here npm run build, then press enter. And there you can see it is done. But before we run the PS partition migrate, we need to make some changes in our port. So for it, let's just open our project using an ODD dot. You can use Visual Studio port, Sublime Text, or any other ODD dot. So I'm going to use Sublime Text in order to open our project. So right now I'll just click on File, then Open Folder, and our project was in new volume F, project name of Laravel underscore project, this one. So I just select the folder. So right now we'll just directly go to our .env file. And here we'll go down, and here you can see Demi Connection SQL Lite. So instead of SQL Lite, I would write over here my SQL Lite because I'm going to use MySQLi and that DB host will be okay, that's fine. But here you can see database name. Let's say database name will be Laravel underscore project, username root, password, null. That's fine. So right now we need to create this database. 
So in order to create this database, what you must have is that you must have your here you can see my Apache and MySQL is running over here. So you must have those two running. Okay. So after it, we will just go back to our XAMPP. I mean the PSMI admin. Here you can see PSMI admin option. Then we will click on new option. Then we will give our database name which was Laravel underscore project and then click on create. So here you can see database is created over here. Here you can see database name is Laravel underscore project and over here you can see as well. So right now we are able to run this command PHP addition migrate. And what will happen if you run this command? Let me just show you. Uh, if we just go to our database, then migration. Inside migration, we have three table over here: user, cache, and job table. So all those three table will be migrated to the database table. Okay. So all those table will be migrated to the database. So right now we are going to run this command php artisan migrate and press enter. Okay, database connection MySQL I not configured. Okay, what we need to do is that stop my SQL I we need to save over here my SQL. Let me save it again. Let me run the command again. And there you can see all those tables is migrated to the database. So right now, if we just go back and just refresh our database table, and there you can see there is few table over here. Here you can see users table. Then we also have the jobs table and the cache table over here. So which uh, came from here? Here you can see user table, cache table, and and jobs table. So right now, if we just refresh our Laravel project, there you can see we have the login and register option. If I now click on login, it will take us to the login page. And if we now click on register, it will take us to the register base. So right now, let's try to register the user. Let's say the name will be Yamin. Email will be Yamin at the rate of gmail.com. Then password on two three four five six seven eight. Control password, the same password. Then click register. It took us to the dashboard. So right now let's log out and try to log in. So right now if we now click on login, then give our email, which is yamin at the of gmail.com and password is on to three four five six seven eight. Then click login. And there you can see we are able to successfully log in. And if we now refresh our user table, there you can see there is a user over here. So this is how you can make login and registration system in laravel using a package called breeze so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials